Well, hi YouTube, what is up? Untied Hawaii here coming at you with a new series on the channel, guys. This series is gonna be different than what we're normally doing because we're not doing any unboxings, we don't have any mystery boxes today. Instead, I wanna explore a topic that I've been like coming across for the last four years while I've been doing YouTube. As you guys know with the beater boxes, I sell a lot of used shoes, I buy a lot of my shoes used, lightly used, but what I've come across when I'm looking for these lightly used shoes is some very, very disgusting shoes on the market. And by disgusting, I mean these things are horrible, man. Like, they're barely considered shoes. They're so beaten up. They've got holes in it. There's like literally mold growing on some of these shoes. That's how bad it is on the market. And I figured, you know what? I see these things all the time. And I'm not sure if you guys hunt for you shoes, but I figured I'd show you guys some of the worst ones on the market today. So that's what the new series is going to be about. And we're going to be utilizing the GOAT app for this because this is where I usually look for you shoes. And for the focus of this episode, we're going to be focusing only on the Air Jordan model. So Air Jordans, let's take a look, guys. Uh, if you want to follow along, I'll actually put up like the filters and stuff that I use to find the used shoes. And this is actually not a bad idea for you guys to use if you guys are trying to like find lightly worn sometimes steals and stuff on there. Sometimes there's mispricing and stuff. This is literally how I look for shoes. And sometimes you can find some gems in there, but most of the time it's trash, literal trash. So we're gonna go over here to the filters and sort by, we're gonna switch to low to high money. So this sorts it obviously by the lowest pricing to the highest pricing. Condition, obviously we wanna click on used. So it's gonna be used, low to high. Category, doesn't matter, but we're gonna switch the brand to Air Jordan. So Air Jordan, and I think those are the only parameters we need. Everything else is pretty much not really needed right now. Uh, and then from here, you just click on the view results and <laughs> it's already looking pretty bad. So again, this is all Air Jordan focus. And this is what I mean on some of these used shoes, dude. Uh, we'll start off with this Air Jordan 7 Bordeaux 2011. Oh God, like, look at this, look at this, look at how bad this thing is, man. So again, because it's a used shoe, you can pretty much sell it for any price you want. And I will say there's a disclaimer, the lowest price that you can put on Godot for used sneakers or even new sneakers is $25. That's the lowest they're gonna take. So this, Tell me, would you buy this shoe for $25? Like, look at this, this is horrible. The Bordeaux 7 is obviously a very popular model, but when you're looking at this, oh my gosh, it just gets so bad. Like this first picture, dude, this is not good. That is not good. So beaten up, the suede's worn down. This thing has seen better days, cracks in the shoe. If you look on that back one over there, it looks like there's a tear in the back heel as well. Gosh, okay, and the top, you know, the top picture's not that bad, so that's not too bad at all. <laughs> Check out this back picture. Oh my god. Why is the left shoe like that and the right shoe is a little bit cleaner? That doesn't make any sense to me. If you guys want to spend 25 bucks on these, I mean, it's available. And this is the kind of stuff that I'm talking about, dude. There's some really disgusting shoes on here. And I mean, I get it. You want to try to sell anything that you can. But there's a certain point, I feel like, where a shoe just needs to be thrown away like there's no way that somebody else is going to use this if you can donate it if you want but to make somebody pay 25 dollars for that no man don't do that that's it's no 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 don't do that see some of these things like i mentioned there could be actually steals on here and not really like super super beat up shoes that's why you do want to scroll through this like actually religiously check it all the time because there are some decent shoes on here or sometimes people misprice the shoes too so you can find some great steals on here oh okay here we go so here's another one we can take a look at this jordan 7 barcelona Knights. so this is one that's actually kind of interesting because even though you look at this and you're like okay that's a basic throwaway shoe right here this one may actually be a good project shoe but it really depends on the price so for this one you can see obviously the entire sole fell off of this so i'm not an expert of like repairs for shoes but if you're able to do a sole swap for this and change it for a different shoe that you already have put the sole back on or just re-glue it uh this might be a good steal because it's 25 dollars. but right now as it is I mean, it's not even a shoe because the sole is literally separated from the shoe. And if you look at the second shoe, this one's about to separate as well. So yeah, again, this is not a wearable sneaker. It's on there, I'm guessing, in case you want to do a sole swap or try to re-glue. But yeah, that's another one, $25 for a thing that's broken in half. So what are we looking at over here? Jordan 5 DG Pro Stars. What is this? I think this is like a painted custom shoe or something. This this is weird. So this is another one that you see a lot on this like you shoe section. When you guys are scrolling through here, you will see a lot of, sh oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, that's bad. Okay, so inside the shoe, I was just scrolling through the pictures, man. Uh, the inside is disgusting. So it's looking like it's missing the insoles. I, it's torn up in there. It, I, there's a lot of like trash in, I, I don't know, it's, I'm speechless on that, that's disgusting. 
Uh, but the outside of the shoe is very interesting. So I guess they painted it all black and then they also threw some blue paint on here. This might have been like somebody's beater shoes when they were painting a house or something maybe. I'm not sure what's going on here, but again, $25, would you spend $25 on this? $25 is halfway to a pair of like brand new Converse. Converse isn't Jordans, but dude, come on, 25? I would pay, I don't even know if I pay a dollar for this. No, no. Look, and that's crazy that this is what the shoe's supposed to look like, an all white shoe. That was not even the same shoe at all. <laughs> this is another thing that you run into. So this first picture is super blurry. Uh, I mean, maybe the blur helps it because it does look so bad. This one has some cuts and tears in it. It's the front toe boxes are basically just all like crumpled up already because there's so much like creasing over it. Bottoms look super, super worn down. There's like a lot of heel drag on this. That's also not good. Dude, and look, look at these close up pictures. Again, this is like somebody's literal beater shoe. Like they wore every day, which is good, you know? He got the best out of this. Don't sell it, man. You don't need to sell this. Just donate it somewhere. Maybe somebody could use it that's really in need. But for $25 without shipping, you still need to pay for the shipping. That would come out to like 30, 40 bucks. And I don't know, for that, come on. Come on, let's let's be realistic here. That's not a good shoe. <laughs> I'm assuming this is not a real sneaker, guys. So if you look at this, it's called a Jordan True Flight, right? And this is a lot of what you see on here too. Like I mentioned, custom. So this guy, I I don't know what this custom is supposed to be of. It has like some kind of like shark teeth going around it and stuff. So shout out to the guy for trying to create a unique shoe. I guess on the back inside soles and stuff, they got like the Bape stuff going on. And I'm guessing they tried to do a custom with Bape themes on this. And you know, that's cool and all, but again, these customs, it's on a beaten up shoe. You can kind of see what the shoe looks like, right? If you look at this back picture, Look at that back right, dude. That thing is like tearing apart at the seams. We don't like that. And it's also painted on and stuff. You're not gonna be able to clean that up, I don't think. There's no way you can scrub that off. So if you appreciate art and you appreciate what this guy did, I guess that has a little bit better value than just a straight up beater. But for me, like anytime somebody marks up a shoe, like that's already done deals for me. I'm not gonna buy that thing. This one, he tried his best. There's not some, there's some pretty decent art on here, but $30 plus shipping. Would you pay 40, 50 bucks for this? I don't, I don't know. And so this is another weird one. So for me, I'm not somebody that wears slides. I know a lot of people in the mainland wear slides with socks and all of this stuff. We don't really wear slides here. We just wear straight up slippers, local slippers. Uh, this is a Jordan Hydro 6 called the Black Gold, I guess. This is really bad. So again, like because somebody was wearing this, I'm not sure if their bare feet were in here. One of the nice things about you shoes is when you're wearing shoes, you know that at least the person was hopefully wearing socks. Even if he wasn't, you can wear socks over it. This one, this guy might have been wearing it in his bare feet, which is pretty gross. Uh, you can see that it's been worn quite a bit. It's very, very depressed in. So you guys know like the shape of this guy's foot or whatever was like stepping on this quite a lot because you can see like the toe prints and stuff. Gross. And also these bottoms are just completely worn out. There's like no traction on here at all. And yeah, dude, like again, this for $37. I don't know. See, this is another thing. If it's just a pair of slides, do you really think somebody's going to rebuy these things when they're super used like that? I don't think that's a thing. <laughs> so, so here's another interesting one. And this is where it starts to get weird, right? Like the $25 range. Okay. We understand like that's the lowest you can put. There's definitely going to be some ugly ones there. What really like takes the cake for me and what really floors me is when people start to put it for over whatever the lowest price you can ask for on there. So for this one, a Jordan Fire Red 2006, this person's asking for $50 for this pair. Look at this. This is not even a shoe anymore. I understand that you can pretty much repair any sneaker, but at this point, this thing is beyond repair in my opinion. There's huge scuffing up there. Uh, it's cracking. The leather is cracking. The bottoms definitely are falling apart at the seams. I'm assuming because it's a 2006, as soon as you step on this, the air bubble is going to pop. Your shoe is going to crumble. And even the top view, dude, you can see again, cracks in the leather. It's just all bad on this one. Very, very yellow soles, missing the insoles. And this person has the audacity to ask for $50 for this. Would you pay $50 for this? The Fire Red is a classic sneaker, I understand that, but for 50 bucks on this shoe, I don't know, man. Again, that's without the shipping. Shipping, 60 bucks, maybe 70. It's not worth it to me. And we can actually end it on that one, guys. Like, it gets really bad, as you guys seen. There's definitely some steals on there, though. And this is the thing, too. There's always cycling out new U shoes on there all the time. So that's why you guys want to keep checking back all the time. You guys saw a lot of really disgusting shoes on there. But you also saw a lot of steals, potentially, while we were scrolling through it as well. And maybe it's just a little bit dirty. And you can clean them up like we do in a beater box and actually sell them for more. So that's why you guys do want to check over there. The next episode that we're going to be doing is the Yeezys. And I got to say, 
Jordans, they can kind of hold like their shape and their look for a very long time. But on the other hand, Yeezys can be very, very disgusting after they've been used. And you guys will see there's some destroyed shoes on the market for Yeezys. And the prices that they're trying to sell them for absolutely ridiculous that will be on the next episode and i hope you guys enjoyed this one definitely something a lot different from the channel but i figured i'd just let you guys see into the world of you shoes and see what some people are actually putting out there in the market it's insane don't be that guy if the shoe is trash throw it in the trash anyway thank you guys so much for watching this episode and i hope you guys enjoyed it if you guys did don't forget to hit that like button before you guys leave and as always guys until next time stay humble stay blessed take care and i will see you on the next episode aloha shoot